I've got all the common public speaking problems, like using filler words. Um, so, you know, um, I'm working on taming them. It's also one of the reasons that this YouTube channel exists. So I thought I'd share how being a YouTuber could help with public speaking anxiety and improve the way that we communicate. A few years ago, someone suggested that I should film myself presenting to do something about these mannerisms that detracted from a presentation we gave to management. That was the first honest feedback I'd had in a long time, so I took it seriously. The weird thing is that I thought I was an okay presenter because I'd been doing it for such a long time. I was wrong. Looking back, I had a lot to learn, and I still do, and I wish I'd started sooner. That was the day I created my YouTube channel. The idea was to observe myself talking and work on my presentation style, but at the same time, I thought I'd make some useful videos on the photography ideas I was toying with. Two birds with one stone, right? I spent an evening or two a week on it, and I still do. Here's what I've learned after two years of YouTubing. Things have to get worse before they get better. Hearing my own voice and seeing my own face while I'm editing is still surreal and it's quite uncomfortable at first. I experience what it's like for someone else to talk to me. I had to endure my own mannerisms firsthand. It's also hard at first because of all the technical things you've got to figure out, how to set up a camera for recording, how to integrate audio, uh, learn editing software, get continuous lighting, because at the time I was only using flash for stills. And worse, it's not easy to have interesting ideas and make a cohesive story out of them. I'm not out of the woods yet. My distracting mannerisms are worse than I thought. I frequently pause because my mind stutters and I can't find the right word to say. It lasts for four or more seconds, but it feels like a lifetime. And I often uh, have to use any word, sometimes the wrong word in the end, just to keep going. It's like having an empty thesaurus. YouTube isn't live. At least I'm not showing anything in real time and it's got a big drawback. I'm working on my ums and my brain freezes, but a lot of it is simply cut out while editing. It feels like cheating, cause it is. And it's probably slowing down my progress. To combat this, I've experimented with different types of delivery to the camera. I've tried memorizing scripts, uh, I've used a teleprompter, and most usefully, speaking with no prepared material at all. Different types of video lend themselves to different techniques. I don't like to use a teleprompter outdoors, for example. And right now, I need to spend more time expanding on notes rather than trying to memorize a script because that's an area of weakness. We'll see how it goes. The feedback for my presentations is now from the public rather than from polite workmates. And it ranges from high praise, and that's great for my self-esteem and it gives me motivation to continue. But I also get really personal criticism. I was called an arrogant git recently, and I think I took notice because it was pretty much correct. I'm completely self-righteous, and I guess that's the next thing I need to work on. I don't respond at all to negative comments because that's a downward spiral, but unlike a lot of people, I take my negative comments seriously. It's emotionally taxing because people are saying aloud what was probably said when I wasn't in the room. I've no idea who's behind the comments, but all comments are triggered for a reason. Again, my channel exists because I want to improve myself. And input from thousands of viewers is a privilege that not many people get to experience. Knowing that editing hides a lot of my bad habits, my self-analysis still only gets put into full practice when I'm presenting in person. I've been invited to speak at photography clubs and podcasts and art associations. Because the edited videos look so smooth, I now put extra effort in to give a equally polished live presentation. It's obvious that YouTubing has really helped with our speaking confidence and it's clearly getting noticed. This reason and the reason that I think everyone should be a YouTuber is that I get the opportunity to explore new ideas, think them through, present them, uh, and have a record that I can look back on in the future. And of course, the best way to learn is to teach. A great example is my DaVinci video. 
at the time I made it, there was only one other YouTube video about photography lighting, citing Da Vinci as the source of the information. It was a pretty good video, and by a photographer that I really respect, but it inspired me to read Da Vinci's notebooks firsthand. And it turns out the video's information wasn't quite right. So I made my own using only information from Da Vinci's notebooks. It's a lot of reading. But I learned that a lot of regurgitated lighting information all points back to this notebook. Did you know that Da Vinci said there's only one correct way to light a face? And that's what we now call butterfly lighting. Neither did I. I also looked at Rembrandt and was amazed by the range of lighting patterns he used. What we call Rembrandt light is only a slice of the full story. So that made for another great video that I wish more people could see. Some photography channels and blogs are full of low quality information because they're regurgitating secondhand, thirdhand, fourthhand information of what's been said before. And AI will ensure that this only gets worse. By putting the effort in to research my information, I'm providing videos with information most people haven't had access to before. Please notice how self-righteous I'm being right now. Being a YouTuber is time consuming and sometimes the comments punch you in the face, but I get to observe my presentation style firsthand and work on making myself a more interesting presenter. As long as there are people who are entertained or informed by the videos, then it's worth it. And to those of you who are following me for the ride, thanks. This channel's for you and let me know what you'd like to see more of in the coming months.